Inside room 203, I was standing in front of the TV, just feet away from my friend, who was sitting on the edge of the bed. She was leaned over with her face in her palms. She was sick at her stomach and was very fidgety and clearly uncomfortable. She wasn't alone. I was not prepared for this. Casting a demon out of someone's home is entirely different than casting one out of a person, especially one that you consider a friend. At this time, I'd never performed an exorcism on a person before. Mentally, I wasn't prepared for it because in my heart, I doubted that my faith would be enough. I didn't think I was strong enough, but here I was. As I continued to talk to her casually, every time I mentioned the name Jesus, she would twitch violently. My heart rate instantly increased and my hands began to sweat. I tested the theory a couple more times. Though uncomfortable, she seemed to be able to listen or at least tolerate everything else that I was saying except for that name, Jesus. She twitched violently again. There was a war going on inside myself. I told God that I'm not ready. There was silence. In this moment, it did not matter how I felt. There was no more time. In those weeks, I watched my friend change into someone else. Though my heart knew what was happening, my mind talked myself out of it because again, I thought I wasn't ready. So I just convinced myself that I was overreacting. She was worse now rocking back and forth, extremely uncomfortable. So I just asked her, point blank, do you think this is normal? Or do you think something's trying to possess you? She said it's not normal. So you feel like something's possessing you? Her face still in her palms, she shakes her head, yes. I swallow the lump in my throat as I clutch the holy oil behind my back. I move toward her. I put the holy oil back in my pocket and I took her hands and guided her to her feet. Now standing at the corner of the bed, I told her that I was going to lead her in prayer. We both bowed our heads out of habit, I guess, and I began to pray. As I was praying, I felt something horrible inside. And strangely, I remembered a warning that I got from one of my friends who's a pastor who had experience with exorcisms. He said, any time that you're casting a demon out of someone, you never close your eyes when you're praying. They have to be open at all times so you can assess the situation and be prepared no matter what. So I opened my eyes and continued to pray. I started tripping over my own words and repeating myself. Then I realized what I was doing and that made me even more nervous. I held her up by her hands and she swayed back and forth, her eyes closing and opening as if she was about to go unconscious. I don't remember exactly what I said, but I'll never forget what I saw. Her eyes were open, though the colors seemed to be faded a bit. They were still green. I watched her close her eyes and she blinked, immediately opening them again. I stopped breathing for a moment. Not only was the color green nowhere to be found, but the whites in her eyes had also vanished. Filled with a darkness that seemed to never begin, but also never end. Her eyes were solid black, 